Hello, I'm Sean Babley and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I wanted to make a game using a touchscreen display. For this game, I chose Hangman. The reason I chose Hangman is because I wanted to make a complex game, but the Arduino can't handle most complex games because it only has two kilobytes of RAM. So Hangman felt like the perfect game because it doesn't have any high-speed graphics. For this project, I used an Arduino Mega and a 3.5 inch touchscreen display. The touchscreen display detects the point that you press on the screen and sends the coordinates to the Arduino where it's processed by the microcontroller. Then the microcontroller completes an action based on what button you pressed. For example, if we press the play hangman button, it will send the coordinates to the microcontroller and then the microcontroller will determine if the coordinates are within the coordinates of the button and then switch the page in the UI. There are six pages in the UI, and each page has two functions, a setup function, which sets up the graphics on the LCD, and a run function, which takes all the coordinates you press and determines what button you press based on the page. I'm going to go through the game playing it and explain the code in the UI, what the code in the UI is doing, and also what the background code is doing to make the hangman game work. Starting at the first page, the only functionality in the UI is the button that I demonstrated in the example. When you press it, it brings you to the next page. The next page is the enter word page where you or your friend enter a word. You may have noticed the keyboard layout is in an A, B, C, D layout instead of the common Q, W, E, R, T, Y layout found on most computers and smartphones. The reason I did this is when you have a Q, W, E, R, T, Y layout, each row has a different amount of letters, so it, it's hard to implement this with space to press each button. You still can change the layout in the code though. On this page, the code running in the background is adding every letter you press to a variable called real word. For this example, I'm going to enter hangman, and I'll save hangman in the real word variable. While the word hangman is short, you can enter fairly long words or phrases. It has a maximum of 39 characters. Now let's move on to the next page. The next page is the guest letter page. The layout of the guest letter page is pretty simple. You have buttons for every letter and a button for guest word. When you press the letter button, it runs through an algorithm finding all of that letter in the real word variable and placing that letter in the corresponding character of the guest word variable. Let's guess B, which is not no word. Because the letter is not in the word, it will bring us to a page in the UI that displays a graphic of a hangman with a certain number of limbs. If the hangman has all of its limbs, you will lose, but since it only has a head, we can guess again. Now let's do another example and guess A. Since A is in our word, it brings us to a page that shows all the letters that we guessed so far, and we have the option to guess another letter or guess the whole word. Let's demonstrate getting, guessing the whole word. When you guess the whole word, it brings you to a page that's fairly similar to the enter word page. It displays the guess word variable, and every letter you press replaces the closest underscore in the guess word variable with the letter you pressed. Now that the word is entered, we just have to press enter, and it compares the guess word variable and the real word variable. And if they're equal, it brings you to the winning page. At the winning page, it waits 10 seconds before restarting the game to play again. Thank you for watching the video. Please consider subscribing and hitting that like button below. If you have any questions on this project or have any ideas for future projects, please leave them in the comments below. See you in the next one.